They talk about their greatness and constantly try to prove something to someone. Russia has been at war for 30 years. First Chechnya, then Georgia, then Syria. In all these wars, Russians fanatically supported their leader Putin. It is the same now, when the Kremlin has started an open war against Ukraine. However, now some of the ordinary Russians are beginning to doubt. Is Russia really so great? And is their leader really doing everything right? In February 2022, Putin Putin announced the beginning of the so-called special operation and even named its goals. At the same time, his onhangers gradually expanded this list. Recently, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu once again said, the Kremlin will not stop until it achieves everything planned. But what the Russians want to achieve, no one fully understood in four months. Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said that the special operation in Ukraine will continue until the tasks set by the Supreme Commander-in-Chief are fully completed. Does he know what are these tasks? Do his people give him correct information? Stalemate situation, rednecks overestimated themselves and now they have no strength to win and losing is not so cool. What kind of tasks to ruin two countries, our own one and neighbors? Vyacheslav Volodin, the speaker of Russian state Duma, could not resist saying something about the war. However, he went even further. He said once again that this is Americans and Europeans who are provoking further hostilities. And therefore Russia's response will be tough. Volodin even threatens that the Kremlin will not stop, even if it reaches the borders of the Donetsk and Luhansk regions of Ukraine. According to Vyacheslav Volodin, the situation in Ukraine is moving towards ensuring that Russian troops do not stop at the borders of the LPR and DPR. As for their action, of course, they are criminal in nature, and the answer will be very tough. Fantastic clown. First they attack Ukraine and then complain that Ukraine resists and threaten to continue seizing their land if they won't stop. Insane. Volodin should be given the title of Hero of Russia. It's hard to find such an idiot. Meanwhile, in the Ukrainian territories currently controlled by the so-called People's Republics of Donetsk and Luhansk, warehouses with ammunition are being blown up in the deep rear. Some Russians do not know what to expect from the Kremlin. To date, Ukrainian fighters shot 730 projectiles of different types, including the MLRS BM-27 Hurricane and BM-21 Grad as well as artillery with a caliber of 155, 152 and 222 millimeters. We wait for gestures of goodwill from safe and cozy Kremlin office chairs. So far, gestures of goodwill have been demonstrated by Ukraine, which does not shoot on the spot the Russians who invaded its territory, but captures them and treats them according to all possible conventions. And some of these Russian soldiers even join the Freedom of Russia Legion and go to fight on the Ukrainian side. The Kremlin has already accepted a punishment for such people – 20 years in jail. And who knows who else will be brought under this article. Maybe those who are still in captivity. That's why the Russians are nervous. The State Duma adopted a bill on the qualification of going over to the side of the enemy in hostilities as high treason. This is punishable in the form of deprivation of liberty for a term of 12 to 20 years with a fine of up to 500,000 rubles. Idiots! And also shoot their relatives. Russians also worry about their cats and dogs. After all, the other day Putin said that it's nonsense to bring them fodder from abroad and instructed the head of the Republic of Mordovia to establish the production of Russian fodder. Vladimir Putin called stupid the situation in which a significant part of pet food in Russia turned out to be imported and supported the development of the production of such feed in Mordovia. Have they decided to starve our cats and dogs? God, please give them brains. However, they are interested in death of our pets. No pet, no problem. Let them eat that fodder themselves, as well as moldy buns from Vkusno i Tochka. Cats won't eat that after Canadian fodders. Another populist bullshit and puddle fart. But it's not yet known what the Russians themselves will eat. After all, most of the agricultural machinery and software for it is imported, and Western companies, due to sanctions, are leaving the country. Most of the equipment and software used in Russian agriculture is imported. Western companies are leaving this market as well. Great! Finally, we will return to our roots. Harness a wife and plow for your pleasure. Well, next year we will eat spent nuclear fuel. It is very high in calories. 
our last hope is China. We don't have anything. Our regime created nothing in 20 years. Although there is no hope in China. The other day Xi Jinping refused to go to Russia. Everything seems to be due to COVID in China or in Russia. No one has ever figured it out. But people are starting to guess. This is completely untrue. The fact is that certain COVID restrictions in China are still active. So, due to the COVID in China, Xi refused to visit Moscow. There is one more restriction to not make your hand dirty with an outlaw. China is at best. It shows the vessel his place. This is written by those who until recently believed that Russia is the mistress of the world. Some, albeit belatedly, realize that this is not the case. And what kind of domination in the world can we talk about if even the national currency hints that things are bad? In one day, the dollar rose by 5 rubles. The rate reached its maximum in the last month. Ordinary Ivan from conditional Chelyabinsk does not like it much. The rubble is rapidly weakening. Since the beginning of the day, the dollar on the Moscow exchange has risen price by more than 5 rubles and the euro by 4 rubles. So before the prices were rising because rubble was rising and now the prices will rise because dollar is rising. I get it. Something went wrong with it, however, like everything in Russia.